Hi, this is Thomas with Believe in the Run, and this is Nikhail. And Nikhail, what's your job at Brooks? So I'm the director of product line management and Blue Line, and I work with some great designers, developers, product line managers. It's a fun job. Now the Blue Line used to be what I would consider the exciting stuff from Brooks. That's your experimental stuff. That's where the Aurora BL came out of, BL for Blue Line. Now you're telling me Blue Line is, that's just all together? Yeah, so I mean, Blue Line's always been part of our footwear innovation team. Uh, and what we've done is we've really kind of incorporated that team into, you know, a larger team where inline and blue line is all integrated, uh, and we're in this mode of acceleration, uh, which is part of what blue line's philosophy was. So we're bringing that to the rest of our product line. And that's exciting to me because I feel like the excitement needs to come into the Brooks line. And from what I'm seeing in front of me, looks like we've got some exciting product going on, which is for us really good news because uh, we love trying this stuff. And I'm looking down here and I'm noticing that we have a colorway going. Is this for the Olympics? This is, this is uh, 2024, the Paris Olympics. We're coining it our year of speed and we have a really cool story called Supernatural Speed, which I think you guys can have a lot of fun with. I would love to. Um, and it was, it's all about a contradiction. And so we heard from our athletes working, especially with whether it's CJ Albertson, Josh, Nia, that you know they want the product, the shoes, the spikes to be an extension of their feet, feel really natural. But at the same time, they want that superhuman, you know, augmentation of their abilities, and that doesn't necessarily work together. And so that was a great challenge. We coined the story "Supernatural Speed," and you've seen that coming to life in this product. All right. So the Hyperion line is pretty much your speed shoes, right? Right. So why don't we start? with the regular Hyperion and work our way through and you give us a little information about what's changing in the shoe. Okay. So uh, we're on Hyperion. It kind of, the numbering on this shoe gets a little confusing right. because it was the Hyperion Tempo. Tempo. Right. Now it's the Hyperion. So is this the Hyperion 2 or 3? This is the Hyperion 2. Can I actually like flip it and start with the Hyperion Elite 4? Yeah, let's okay. do it. All we're right. going to flip so it. We're going to flip it. Um, this is the Hyperion Elite 4. Uh, the same shoe that Zach Panning wore at the World Championships in Budapest that uh, Josh Kerr won the Fifth Avenue Mile, which you guys yes. talked to him about. He was awesome. You guys were there yeah. uh, to watch it. Um, yeah, so this has our new DNA Flash nitrogen infused foam. Um, it is our version 2. It has got more displacement, it's softer, uh, and it rebounds more. Um, so a big, big upgrade from where we've been. It also has a new carbon fiber plate. Yeah, I can see in that Speed window. Speed Vault Plus. So we were able to extend the plate, widen the plate, and keep the weight the exact same because it's now carved out and it's tuned at the size level. Okay. So Des, the plate that Des gets is going to be a little bit more specific to her women's size six and a half versus what Josh Kerr has as a men's size 11. In the past, we take a men's size nine plate, grade it down, grade it up, and that's not necessarily the best for all runners. And so, so what helps with that? Is that a lot of computer generation? Is that the stuff that's coming out of the Blue Lab, where it's like, Blue Line, I'm sorry, that they're, you're experimenting with these products? Yeah, so we are actually working with a company in the Bay Area called Aris, and they have this capability of additive manufacturing, and so they use that 3D additive manufacturing to build this carbon fiber plate, which allows us to tune it um, and they use finite element analysis so that we can figure out the bending stiffness at these different sizes. That sounds pretty cool. It is pretty cool. All right, so one curiosity for me, I know that Brooks never decided to go with like a PIBA foam or a X foam for the midsole on the race issue. How are you making that decision? Like why, why are we going with a nitrogen infused? Yeah, look, um, we've been incorporating nitrogen infused for a while. I know other brands are now bringing it in. Um, we think it today it works really well and it's not just the foam it's the geometry as well so we kind of like carve out uh, sides of the shoe with texture you know we truly take out um, use negative space to activate the plate um, and then um, we're going to proliferate this foam but that doesn't mean we're not working on future forms okay. that do have either PIBA influence or actually will have PIBA, PIBA in them so. all right great so this is the pinnacle for race day for Brooks, right? Yep. Where do we go next? So this is your race day shoe, and then I know you guys were pretty stoked about the Hyperion Max, even yep. though it wasn't a true Max. Well, guess what? This guy is now true, a max. true max. It's 36 millimeters in the heel, 
30 millimeters in the forefoot, so it's gone up six millimeters in the forefoot. We know runners really love that. Yeah. Um, and this is the same flash version too. Uh, it does have a plate, so we added a plate in there, but it's a P-backs plate. Yeah. And so that's gonna work both to give you a little bit of that pop, but then also a little bit of that stabilizer given the fact that Flash V2 is a little bit softer, gives you a little bit more of that cush, and that's what runners really want. They want to get that little bit of that sink in, not too much, and then that bounce back. Yeah, I have to say, I love having cushioning under my forefoot. It just makes that roll off feel so much more gentle than sometimes when you're hit yeah. pounding the pavement and just getting it. So this one looks exciting to me, and I kind of love what you guys are doing with the uppers here. I, I, you know, I can see the knit here open up, yep. kind of come through, and then this is more of like an engineered mesh. Yeah, so um, the race day shoe is all about, you know, race day, like a millimeter and having an edge. So it's breathable, it's lightweight. Um, the Max and the Hyperion, they're like our everyday responsive cushion shoes, right? We want everyone to experience that run. So the mesh is a double jacquard, a little bit softer, more comfortable. Um, the tongue is a flat knit tongue, which really hugs the foot. It feels really yeah, good. It's kind of like a gusset. Yeah. I know you like gussets. Love a gusset. <laughs> um, and so that works really well. Um, so when you're talking about this, I consider this lineup more of the competitive runner, the person that's trying to always improve the running, maybe not just for fitness or weight loss, but is actually concerned with race times or, or just getting better in running. Would you say that this shoe would be your daily trainer for the speed shoe and then you'd elevate to this on race day? Is this, would be your everyday shoe? Yeah, I mean, the, the Hyperion Max to the Hyperion uh, does not have a plate, so you have options. Mm -hmm. uh, this has gone up a little bit in terms of weight, but you've given, you've given the run a lot of cushion. This is, so that's 9.1 ounces. This is at 6.8 ounces. Oh, wow. Super lightweight, nitrogen infused. So you have options, right? I think that's the beauty of running shoes. Um, th both are everyday running shoes, uh, and they both are lighter, and have a little bit more of that pop, versus what we do on a Ghost or Adrenaline, which are like everyday running shoes um, for recovery, slow run. So um, these, I'd say, are very, very versatile. Okay. So why don't we go through price point a little bit? I'm sure. guessing this is? 250. Yeah, that's the race day price. Yeah. All right, and then coming down to the Hyperion Max. So we stayed at 180. Oh, wow. Right? So that's gonna be uh, 180, um, and then uh, stayed at 140. Um, 140 for on, the, uh, the, uh, Hyperion. the Hyperion 2. So. All right, great. And when, when are we gonna see these shoes rolling out? So the Hyperion Elite 4 will come out with the Olympic Marathon Trials on 1st of February. Okay, we're uh, right around Florida. the corner. Um, we're going to then launch the Hyperion Max 2 in conjunction with the track and field trials okay. mid to end of June. Uh, and then uh, I think July 1st is when you're going to get the Hyperion Max. Okay, so we're, all throughout the year we're going to see these kind of trickle in. Yeah. Plus, we've got spikes. Ah. Um, so I, I know um, spikes is, you know, a small I'm afraid of spikes. You're <laughs> afraid of spikes. I, I don't, don't want to blow out, I don't blow out a cap. But I will say, so a lot of the same technology, uh, Josh won the 1500 meter, so he's a world champion in the Hyperion Elite LD. And I just want to call out one thing, which is yeah. super cool. Um, so it's a carbon composite plate, but what we did is we had the Flash V2 uh, integrate and come through. I see that, like yeah. a pillow almost. So we are really maximizing the foam. We know the foam does a lot of the work. It's the magic. So this is a secret sauce that we're bringing to our spikes, and we're gonna start doing it in inline product oh, as cool. we uh, kind of... So you're saying that I would, uh, this will translate into a daily shoe? That's what we're looking to do. Oh, wow. Yeah. I noticed that like this configuration, these designs, kind of mimic some what we have in this plate. Is it in development with the same company? Uh, not with the same company, but this is where our designers come in. So there's a design language, a story, so it's connected to supernatural speed, uh, and it's inspired by a flower. So if you think about, you know, when you're on the podium, you not only get a medal, but you also yeah, get flowers. Uh, flowers, or it started off with a wreath, yeah. and so that was the inspiration um, for the design, and that's come through in the plates, both in the spikes as well as um, the Aris uh, carbon fiber plate. Awesome. Obviously, th these are the shoes that we get real geeked up about, but let's see what else you got from uh, Brooks. Yeah, sure. Um, oh, one thing that I didn't mention, 
uh, just quickly is part of our design language is with this fiery coral. So if you're on the outfield looking in, you can see our new Brooks Victory tape branding. Yeah. But then if you're on the infield looking in, you see our Brooks, Brooks part. Logo. So that was a really nice cool touch. Yeah. And it came to life because Josh won. Yeah, uh, yeah the way he runs right there. Yeah, exactly. he's on a poster. All right, so we're in this mode of acceleration. Uh, this is the new Glycerin 21 uh, GTS Stealth Fit. Um, as you guys know, we do a number of different options. Uh, what we've done with this franchise is we've maintained a loft nitrogen infused, but we've added two millimeters of foam, so a little bit more cush uh, without adding weight. So we were able to take a little bit of the outsole away. The upper materializations have just gotten softer. This is that really nice. It definitely looks sleeker than ones in the past. This looks. This is a classic toe down design that I like for running shoes. Kind of that sculpted dark feel. Exactly. So yeah, I like that. You know, it's. Again, it's you know like that's part of our design philosophy with crafted beauty, where it's kind of like takes the form of the foot, uh, and a lot of people are liking that look. Yeah, I like I well. like that. Yeah. All right. So and the glycerin is always a stability shoe for those that don't know, right? Well, so we do a neutral. The GTS. And a stability. The GTS is the go-to support, so this is the support version. Uh, we do have a neutral version as well, uh, and then uh, we do also have a version that is just not is not a flat knit. It's a little bit more of that. Traditional. traditional yeah. Fit. Take a look. And so we had one sixty dollars. That's going to come out. One hundred and sixty. Uh, yeah. Uh, right. First of February. All right. What else you got? All right. So uh, for the first time, the Ghost is now going to have loft nitrogen infused okay. uh, with an additional millimeter of foam. Uh, so the glycerin is at a 10 millimeter offset. We stay at a 12 millimeter offset with the Ghost. This is the Ghost 16. Um, so big, big upgrade for all those runners with something that's softer, more responsive. Does draw, changing the foam on it lower the weight or is it pretty much stay the same? Uh, we kind of lower the weight a little bit um, on the shoe. So like my 0 0.2, 0 0.3 ounces. And this is probably Brooks' top selling shoe right now, isn't Hands it? Hands down. Yeah, okay, this is so uh, this is the gold standard for daily training coming from Brooks. Plenty of rubber, durability, the right foam. It's gonna work for a lot of people. Fits a lot of type of feet. Um, our fit is by far the best in the industry. Um, the materials that we use feel soft and plush. Uh, it's like you put it on and you feel like, oh, that was a glove that was just made for my ankle. Awesome. But for the foot. <laughs> yeah, glove for your foot. All right. All right. Oh, so um, the Ghost Max 2. Which, Ghost Max was one of our favorite shoes this year. I think you saw that we gave it uh, one of our awards on our year-end shoes for 2023. It was really a surprise. We didn't know it was coming, and we really enjoyed running it. So this is one. Are we going to continue to enjoy the Ghost Max 2? Without a doubt. So Ghost Max 2 now is going to have nitrogen injected. Everything's foam. going nitrogen. Everything is super critical nitrogen injected. We suddenly feel that runners appreciate that softness and that kind of responsive bounce back. Uh, so we're bringing that to this Max Cushion shoe. So will this be more like softer than the previous one? Slightly model? softer, okay. um, but the same rocker in the roll. Um, and you're just going to get a little bit more of that kind of uh, responsive feedback uh, All right. running in the shoe. I don't uh, know if we said the price point for the G for the... Um... So the glycerin will be at 160. Um, the Ghost stays at 140, okay. uh, and then we do have um, the Ghost Max at 150. 150. Staying at 150. All right. Yeah, it looks. I mean, it's not a design departure from the previous model. I, I'm not noticing anything except for a little bit of like rubberization around the toe. Does it stay light? Um, it's gone up a little bit in weight, um, just because I think we've kind of added a little bit more of the sidewall heights and a little bit more rubber from a yeah. durability perspective. It looks like a lot of coverage here. Yeah, um, but other than that, you're right. Uh, we really wanted to move quickly, and so this is coming out 1st of September. Oh, wow. Um, and that's a pretty quick turnaround from the first Ghost Yeah, Max, for one. So they, I mean, excited. I feel like we just got the other Ghost Mac right at the tail end of the summer. Right, yeah. All right. I think August, September, it just came out. Yeah. The official date was October 1st, I think. So. All right. And then the creme de la creme, this is the Adrenaline GTS 24. So super new, progressive design. Got a little bit of suede hits on the shoe. Um, this shoe is also going to have loft nitrogen injected. All right. Um, so really moving our core franchises faster. 
um, and you're going to see them, you know, um, evolve at a much faster pace in terms of technology, design language. Um, this obviously is your go-to support. Uh, even in the outsole, really had some fun with it. Carved out parts of the outsole where you don't need material. Um, still nice and flexible, so you get that flex. Uh, a little bit softer, a little bit lighter, and certainly smoother. I still can't get past the suede hits. I think that's a little hype beast talk there going in. So that's something. Hey, you know what? Runners want a little we bit do. of like softness, even when they see the shoe. The perception I, makes a I, difference. I sometimes miss overlays and those little uh, accents to a shoe that kind of give it character. I think sometimes when you go to these smooth shoes, you lose some of that design element. So I, I appreciate it. I like it. Um, so when you say creme de la creme, what makes this like to you, why is this the, the top? Well, I mean, look, at the end of the day, support is so important to runners and they'll describe support in different ways. Uh, and so when we think about it, it's not only support traditionally on the medial side, it's a wider base, slightly side, higher sidewall heights, and then the, the plush collar as well, right? That's where runners are looking for support in the collar, um, a little bit of heel support, but doing it in ways where it's not additional weight, additional plastic. And so we've been so intentional and purposeful with this shoe that we feel like we brought support holistically, not only in the midsole and outsole, but even in the upper. And so super proud and excited about, you know, us continuing to invest in support for runners because they need it. They might not say they need it, but they expect it right. and we're giving it to them. So this is the year of nitrogen infusion for Brooks. We're gonna see it in every shoe. Is there a shoe that's not using it? <laughs> Well, I mean, there's still a few shoes that right. are like a lower price point that won't have it. Okay. Uh, but they still have some of our premium technologies like Loft, but EVA based. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks for going through the lineup. Um, this is exciting. We'd like to see some, some of these designs evolving from Brooks. This is great. I can't wait to try the Hyperion Max and the Elite. This is going to be a fun year for Brooks, I think. Oh, yeah. And we've got some more stuff coming. So um, you'll be getting some I mean, sneak Ghost, peeks. Ghost Max so was a surprise. I, I will say that we are also working, just so you guys know, we're working on a Glycerin Max as well. Oh. Uh, so that's going to be uh, pretty exciting. And uh, yeah, we're going to push the limits on that one. All right, awesome. Well, thanks a lot for your time. And uh, we can't wait to get these on our feet. Thank you. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what you guys do with the Supernatural Sweet Story. All right.